Hello everyone, my name is James Lee. I've been in the music industry about 16 years and I started in Los Angeles, California. Uh, I moved to Korea in 2011 with my rock band, we were called Royal Pirates, and that gave me the opportunity to travel the world and tour and play in arenas in front of tens of thousands of people. And that all came to an end in 2015 when my left hand was cut off I was walking into a restaurant and a glass door collapsed and severed my left hand, dislocated my left shoulder, and left me with glass stuck in my head. So I had to transition from being a full-time bassist to being now a full-time music producer who's blessed to work with some of the best artists in the world. Thank you. I started my music production career in China in 2017. And like I said, I've been able to work with some of the best singers, some of the most popular artists. Some of the names you might know include Angela Baby, uh, Tan Jing, Zhang Jie. I've also had the opportunity to be on stage with some legendary singers like Sun Yanzi or Wang Li Hong, just to name a few. And I started 2020 off with a ton of momentum. So I was working as a concert producer for a very popular artist who was coming fresh off of a TV show that was a competition based for idols. And we had a fantastic first show in front of thousands of his screaming fans. I cannot forget the ringing in my ears, the thousands of fans screaming his name. And we said, man, this is going to be a great 2020. We're going to tour the rest of China. It's going to be great. But I said, before we go, I got to go back to LA and see my parents real quick. I'll be right back. And so I got on the plane, I got back to LA, and then the world changed, as you guys know. So going from the bright lights, it would have been easy to be depressed, being stuck at home. But I decided to take this opportunity to really focus on the one thing I wasn't able to do over the past 10 years, and that's improve my relationship with my parents. And don't get me wrong, it, there was nothing ever sour about our relationship. They're great people. They're beautiful. Hi, Mom. And uh, honestly, I just want to do my best to make sure that they had the best time with the time they have left. Because being away for 10 years, it made me reevaluate the way that I process time. I used to think of time in terms of minutes, hours, and years. But being away for so long, I started to think of time in terms of visits, in terms of moments. And every visit, I would notice something new. There would be a scar, or there would be a new set of wrinkles on their face, or there would be a new physical ailment. My father is disabled. He's unable to walk properly. And he had four serious back surgeries, after which the doctor said he would not be able to walk ever again. So his ability to be mobile at this point is a testament to defying the odds. So I wanted to spoil them. I wanted to give them something special, and I thought, what better way to expedite the improvement of our relationship than by buying them a car? So I bought them a car. And it's not fancy. It's nothing super expensive, but it worked, and it made them happy. So the longer I stayed, I began to recognize why the gift of a car was so significant. It's not that it was a toy, but it was a tool. It gave them the mobility and freedom that they didn't have before. And let me give you an example of why that was so significant. My older sister just had her second child, and whenever they wanted, they could come visit and hang out and watch the baby, and they wouldn't have been able to do that before. They would have been home just wondering what we were doing. And so with this, I saw a reemergence of strength, of confidence, and maybe even a little hope. So, after my accident, I began to realize that every single person will have a moment in their life where the fundamentals of who they are will change. After 2020, 
I learned that this can happen again. And this can happen again and again. But it's really up to us to do our best with what we have. Yeah. Now my parents are happy with their new car. And yeah, they're he healthy and happy and loving life. So that's a plus one for me. Thank you. Thank you.